Hi, Catherine. Happy 30th birthday. Wow. 30. What's that like? I wouldn't know. I'm 27 forever. Um, when I put this um, idea together, um, I gave everyone very basic instructions for what I wanted um, as far as what to send me. And I didn't know what the plan was other than to put it together. Um, I did have an idea. I did have a feeling that I would see a lot of the same reoccurring themes. And I was right. Um, you have wonderful, wonderful friends and you have a terrific family and everyone loves you so, so, so much. And so obviously there's going to be common threads. And so that's what I tried to put together. And the reason why you're seeing me now is because there is absolutely no way that I could follow what I got back. Uh, there's no way I could follow um, the just outpouring of love uh, that everyone has for you. I love you so much. Autumn loves you so much. I love you. I love your family. I love your friends. They're my friends. Your family is my family. I've never felt more at home with anyone or within anyone's life that I feel with you. I am at a loss at how to introduce this video, so here it goes. I love you. Hey girl, happy birthday. So the big secret is that Nikki asked me to make a video for you for your birthday talking about how awesome you are. Catherine, it's your 30th birthday. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Happy birthday. Hey Catherine, happy 30th birthday. Hey Catherine, happy birthday. Um, 4 4 21. I am shouting a big happy 30th birthday. Hi Catherine, happy birthday. I've been lucky enough to have you in my life as my best friend for a good 10 years now because you're 30 now if you missed it. Uh, and I'm 29, so. It's been quite a long time. I am so excited for you and your new house. You know, doing big things, owning a house before you're 30. But now you're 30. I just want to make sure we know that you're 30. I'm still 28, but you're 30. I can't believe that you are finally 30, flirty, and thriving. Hi, Catherine. The year that you were born, I was the same age that you are now. And I am honestly very truly lucky and grateful that you have been there for everything the last 10 years. Some of my best memories, the most fun I ever remember having, uh, you were there. Some of my worst times, you were there. I'm so grateful for you and your friendship. You have helped me through a lot, um, especially this past year and you have been a rock for me for a long time. Um, from the days of Knobles and the BK Lounge to the days of snuggling in my bed in Virginia and all the days in between. I hope that your 30s are a little bit better than our 20s because let's be real, we didn't have much fun in our 20s. And I am so grateful for all of the memories that we have, all of the late night and half price apps and trips to sheets and deciding where to go to dinner and just ending up at Quaker Steak for all of our vacations and road trips and good times and hilarious moments and ridiculous moments. All of the movies and midnight premieres, which I would just like to pause and acknowledge and wish you a happy seven year anniversary of the release of The Winter Soldier. One of my favorite memories is when you got the role of Maria in Sound of Music, and I helped you on that, and I came to see you 
and you sang like an angel, and you were so smart and nailed every single scene. I'm always proud of you, but that was really a, a moment I was just, my heart exploded. You're always very fun and positive and happy, and you know, sometimes we train late at night and it's dark, and it's always a good time to spend time with you. Like, um, you know, getting to know you has been really fun. I love learning about all your little musical knowledge and your Marvel love, and it's been really nice to get to know you, and I am really, really proud of all the changes that you have made physically and mentally. The moment that I laid eyes on you, I fell in love. You felt like my baby, and you still do. And you were this bright, bubbly, beautiful little girl that just lit up every room that you came into. And now I've seen you grow up into this beautiful, smart, funny, progressive, open-hearted young lady. And I am so, so proud of you and so happy for you. I'm so grateful for you. I am ecstatic for you and where you are now. Um, you know, we've done a lot of growing up especially in the last couple of years. Um, and so much has changed. But what's amazing with that is so much has changed. And as much as we've all changed on our own, so much is still the same. Um, and I think our bond and our friendship will continue to grow separately and then grow together. And that is the most beautiful thing. Um, so thanks for having awesome friends and letting me be friends with them as well. And just everything the last 10 years because I am so thankful and so lucky and I really hope you're not sick of me yet because I plan on making many more memories hopefully soon because I miss you so much but you have a new house and a wonderful guy in your life and I am just beyond happy for you um so I hope that today is super special for you I wish I can be there but I hope I can give you a big hug uh, in a few months in Florida. Uh, words can't explain how grateful I am for you and your friendship and how much I love you. I hope you have a great year um, and a great birthday. I'm so glad that I'm still in your life, that we're both still in each other's lives. And I miss you so much, love you, and happy birthday! You are literally my best friend. I love you more than anything, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait to celebrate it with you post-apocalypse. We're gonna have fun. I love you, I love you, I love you. Happy birthday! Yeah, you really are a special person and I'm so grateful that you randomly found me on the internet and trusted me because I think we're, we're a good match. All right, happy birthday, and I will see you soon. I want to wish you the happiest 30th birthday. I love you so much. I hope each year gets better and better and better and better. I love you, sweet pea. Happy birthday. I love you so much, and I miss you. Um, happy birthday. I can't wait till we can go on another tropical vacation together and just laugh and hug and cry and laugh again. Um, I love you so, so much. You deserve the best thing in the world. I hope you get that. And I will hopefully see you very soon. I love you. Have the best 30th birthday. I am so happy for you in everything that seems to be working out and going really well. I'm so happy and proud of you for all of the work that you are doing for you because you so deserve it. I'm so happy for you and Nikki and Autumn on your new house, which I cannot wait to see. I'm sure it is fabulous and I'm so happy for you. And I hope you have the absolute best day ever because you deserve it and so much more because you deserve the world, Catherine, because you are awesome and you're the best, and I love you, and I miss you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. So, happy 30th birthday, Catherine. I love you. Hello, Catherine. We just wanna say we love you, and we're so proud of you, and we can't believe it's 30 years. Sending all of our love. <laughs> happy birthday, honey, we love you. Love you. I'm hugging your picture. It's as close yeah. as we can get right now. <laughs> Love you to pieces. Love you, baby. Bye.
Hello, Catherine. Well, Dr. Catherine. It's uh, John Noble here. And uh, I had a note from Nikki telling me that you've got a 30th birthday. And well, I wish you a happy birthday, and I will very happily so 30. 30s, I love it. it the beginning of the best, most creative decade of my life, 30 to 40. I mean, there's been some pretty good ones since, but uh, just in terms of pure creativity and making things happen. Hi, Catherine. I am Monica Rial, the voice of Sue Leslie in My Hero Academia and Maho in Steins Gate Zero. Maho's got such attitude, you know? <laughs> Nikki told me to get in touch with you because you have a birthday coming up. Happy birthday, doctor. That is very exciting. Hi, Catherine. Surprise! <laughs> this is Chloe Hollings, the voice of Widowmaker in Overwatch, and I just wanted to say happy birthday! Joyeux anniversaire! Joyeux anniversaire! Joyeux anniversaire, Catherine! Joyeux anniversaire. Did you make a wish? I hope you did. It was now or never. Thought maybe um, I could have um, maybe a little see you come sing you some happy birthday. I would say Maho, but I think Maho would just be angry and yell the whole time because, you know, she'd have to, she'd be all embarrassed about having to sing anyway. So let me go get my friend real quick. I'll be right back. Um... Uh, hello, Dr. Moscow. Um, I'm gonna sing you a happy birthday song. Here we go. Um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dr. Moscow. Catherine. Ribbit. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a plus ultra birthday. Bye, Ribbit. I understand also that, uh, you uh, love Lord of the Rings. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and also Walter. Dear Walter from Fringe. God, I love that character. He introduced you to peak friends. I know that much. <laughs> How funny. The, 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 Walter used to uh, eat those red things, twist or something like that. And they became quite famous and, and uh, the the manufacturer, in fact, sent us a couple, some free boxes for promoting these red vine things. But I didn't like them. I mean, I used to make out what would make out he was doing, and the out he goes. Usually, when we eat uh, a, a, anything on uh, when we're filming, because there's multiple takes, you chew and then you spit. Chew and you don't swallow it. You <laughs> blow it out of here, particularly with a hamburger, don't you? I hear several things that I really, really love. First of all, you love Overwatch. Thank you for liking, appreciating our work. Uh, we love that. I love that. I love to hear that. And second, that you are an audiologist. Whew, I would love to um, have long conversations with you over coffee or some other beverage. Maybe one day, after all this craziness, we can talk about audiolo audiology. How amazing is that? I love it. I love Steins Gate. I'm so glad that you mentioned that, that Nikki said that you were a big fan. Man, it was so hard. That little bit of Japanese I had to speak. Always wanted to do a bucket list thing, but holy moly was that hard. And as much as I love Maho, I can't tell you how frustrating it is to constantly have characters that are in love with Michael Tatum's characters, but it's always unrequited love. So I'm basically constantly just chasing after Michael Tatum. Uh, maybe someday that won't be the case. <laughs> Who knows? But man, I love that show. And I hope that maybe someday we'll get to see more, maybe a different timeline or something. Um, I would really love for her to get the guy someday, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Fingers crossed, maybe. Or would love you. Oh, yeah. You got your doctor. You got your doctor ahead of your name, just like him. He hangs around here too. This is, I'm back in America now, but he, they, they all hang around, just waiting. And uh, Walter's here somewhere. I spoke to Dennis for a moment ago. I just said, just let me check and see. He's a bit crappy these days. Hey, Walter, sir, Dr. Bishop. Hello, sir. Oh, Dr. Bishop, your worship. Uh, there's a, a doctor here that would uh, enjoy a, a message from you. No, it's a lady doctor. Ah, not so bad now, huh? In a hurry. 
no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you haven't got yourself ready and put on your right clothes. Just come as you are. I want to be addressed up. Walter, come on, look. And you come. Oh, I will come down. I will come down to see this one. What's her name? What's her name? Dr. Catherine. G'day, Dr. Catherine. And I'm Dr. Walter. We're both doctors. And uh, I, 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 I admire you so much for, for having the sticking power, the uh, sticking power to, to become what you are. The application, dedication, appreciate that. It's a lifelong journey, isn't it, in the sciences? Medical sciences are advancing so fast, so fast. I love it. I love the fact that science is just galloping ahead and opening new horizons, and every door that opens, there's another 15. Oh, and that beautiful thing, isn't it? So, so my dear friend uh, Catherine, she's so young, 30 years old. Oh. She's only 30 years old. And happy 30th birthday. I hope you have a lot of cake. Let her eat cake. Nikki, let her eat cake. And I hope everything about this day is... Oh la la. Anyway, it was so nice to be a part of your day. Um, maybe one day we do get to meet, you know? <laughs> there are infinite possibilities um, and in the meantime take care uh, have a joyful happy laughter filled day and oh my god 30 you were so lucky let me finish with this small story I loved turning 30 I don't know if you're the type of person who hates like growing older but I love growing older because it just means that I'm alive, <laughs> basically. But so I loved turning 30. I thought it was such a great age to be. I mean, it was only two years ago, you know, but still, it was great. Anyway, happy life. Mwah. Bye, Catherine. Mm. Catherine, uh, I also understand that you, you, you love big friends. Is that why the supplies are low? I'm only it harder and harder after this, this pandemic and a deep freeze to get them. Happy birthday, my dear. I hope you have a lovely one. I hope you guys have a great time and Nikki, take care of her. Make sure she has fun. All right, you guys, so much love. Take care. So Dr. Catherine, congratulations. Happy birthday. I would, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can remember how to do it. Uh, Catherine, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, doctor. No, doctor. Happy birthday, Dr. Catherine. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dr. Catherine. Happy birthday to you from me. <laughs>